every day. Thousands of people around the world are affected by acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, more commonly known as AIDS. There is no cure for AIDS as of now. It has claimed millions of lives to date. What makes AIDS such a deadly disease? Let's find out. AIDS is caused by the Human Immunodeficiency Virus or HIV. The virus has an outer lipid layer with glycoproteins arranged in peg-like structures on the outside. There are two protein layers below the lipid layer. The inner protein layer is called the capsid. Within the capsid, there are two single-stranded RNA molecules and the enzyme reverse transcriptase. These molecules help the virus take over host cells. Viruses carrying the enzyme reverse transcriptase are classified under the retroviral family. The enzyme reverse transcriptase plays a key role in viral replication. Let's see how. HIV infects the T lymphocytes that protect the body from infections. The outer layer of the virus merges with the cell membrane of the T lymphocyte and the capsid enters the cytoplasm. The viral capsid dissolves to release the enzyme reverse transcriptase and the viral RNA into the host cell. The enzyme reverse transcriptase then synthesizes a complementary DNA or cDNA strand using the viral RNA as a template. The viral RNA breaks down after this and the cDNA becomes double-stranded using the host's nucleotides. This viral DNA is then incorporated into the host cell DNA. When transcription of host DNA takes place, the viral RNA is also transcribed. This viral RNA is then translated to form viral protein. Viral RNA and proteins assemble to form new HIV particles. New viruses are then released from the host cell by budding. These viruses then invade new host cells. This is how the HIV virus gradually destroys the host's immune system. As of today, the only cure for AIDS is prevention. And to ensure prevention, it is important to understand how this disease spreads. 
How does HIV spread? Select the correct modes of transmission. That's correct. HIV is transmitted through body fluids. So, these are the modes of transmission of HIV. As there is no cure for this disease, it's best controlled by adopting preventive measures as given here. Here's a quick recap of the different stages in the life cycle of HIV.